This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the US had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. That's a big, big problem for all of us with food and gas and everything else going up. But it's terrible if you're planning on retiring anytime soon. You need to put up a sort of inflation dam to stop it from wiping out the value of your savings and investments. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs. So their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high, but like thousands of others with Noble Gold, you'll be okay. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Think rejecting the recall of Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom would be a no brainer for these three Los Angeles voters. But it's not. You know, I have to say I'm really leaning very heavily towards the recall. To recalling the governor. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in the Democratic Party in general. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Really quick, before I get into this clip, I wanted to do something that I don't do often enough, and that's thank all my Patreon and Subscribestar subscribers. Many of you guys have been with me a really long time, and I really appreciate it. Starting with Maggie A, Lyle Webb, Vanessa Roth, thanks all of you. Lee Griffith, give it to me straight. Robert Wallace, R. Lloyd09, thank you to all of you guys. Uh, JMK, Michael Bildwell, Debbie, uh, Michael Flyer, you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. Akabono Radio, Mark Riley, Daniel Whipper, Rule Bob, thanks to all you guys. I've seen some of you at the live streams. I really appreciate it. John A. Mertink, Robbie Clark, Patrick Roberts and S. Curtis. Again, thanks to all of you. I couldn't do any of this without you. So for the last few weeks, the left and their media have tried everything in their Necronomic playbook to try and stop what could be California's first black governor. They tried to keep him off the ballot altogether. They tried to smear him with old jokes from his radio show. When you look at all these women that have marched, something like two million women, Donald Trump has probably gotten more obese women off the couch and in the streets working out than Michelle Obama did in eight years. Oh. In tens of thousands of hours, if that's the best you have, you don't really have anything on Larry Elder. Oh, well, there's lots of other material, as you know, Congressman. We don't have time to go through all of it, but... Uh... And just about every other dirty tactic that you can think of, including calling him the black face of white supremacy, while always portraying Newsom as anything other than the failure that he is. And it just blows my mind that here we have possibly California's first black governor. You would think that'd be some big deal that the media would be talking about. But oh no, the problem with Larry Elder is that he's the wrong party. If you saw Mark Dice's video today, then you got a taste of the tidal wave that's likely coming to sweep Gavin Newsom's away and replace him with Larry Elder. Gavin Newsom. Exactly. He's a piece of yes. He's a yes. piece of So back to the original clip, CNN brings on these Democrats for what I guess was a propaganda piece meant to be in defense of Gavin Newsom. But I don't think it went as they planned. I think rejecting the recall of Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom would be a no-brainer for these three Los Angeles voters. But it's not. You know, I have to say I'm really leaning very heavily towards the recall. To recalling the governor. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed in the Democratic Party in general. Oh my God! Disappointed by the Democrat Party? But how could that be? CNN only reports positive stories about Democrats and their policies. They totally ignore the negative or dismiss them as right-wing grievances. So how could these Democrat women suddenly think for themselves and turn on their overlords? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Gavin Newsom dumb fucked up. Problems grow. Wildfires, drought, crime, cost of living. But the worst for them? 
homelessness. It's like, let me work, let me pay my taxes, but provide me with safety and not be accosted by two homeless people within the matter of 15 minutes. <laughs> if I were that lady, I'd be careful. You're likely to have a violent communist Antifa mob show up to your house and threaten you. Is this Governor Newsom's fault? Oh. You're asking if the governor of California is at fault for the situation in his state. The state that he's in charge of. The guy in charge of the state. You're asking if it's his fault. Oh. Is this his fault? <laughs> I just... The woman that's responding seems like she's afraid to answer the question. Is this Governor Newsom's fault? I, I mean, technically... <sighs> How can I even answer that? Like she's gonna be targeted or marginalized or something if she doesn't answer correctly. She eventually does answer and tells the truth, but the reporter is very concerned about her response. It's not concerned for the issues Californians are facing thanks to their failed Democrat leadership. No, no, no. It's because a Republican might get elected. He's the leader. It's, it's, everything starts from the top mm -hmm. and it goes down. How will it make you feel if a Republican is elected? Sick unwilling to vote for a Republican. What even is this? They're sitting around complaining about all the serious problems in California, but it makes him feel sick that somebody who's better at the job might get elected simply because they're of the opposing party. It almost seems like she's saying that just to gain the approval of the CNN reporter. Imagine a Republican being interviewed by CNN and they say that they feel sick by the prospect of California's first black governor. All right, that's all I have for this one. If you're at all interested in who sponsored this CNN propaganda, it was Farmers Insurance. Don't spend your money on people who hate your guts. As always, I request that if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and let us know what you think in the comment section.